Infosys results were released yesterday and their overall financial performance was not too good. At the same time, their forecast for the next one year was also not very strong. The CEO was very tentative about how the growth is going to look like. Just listen to this 10 second clip and you will understand what I'm saying. On the US, I think uh, as, as you've seen, we had a slower outlook in US both in Q4 and the full year. Now, if you look at exactly one week back, TCS also has announced their results and TCS CEO at the same time though was very confident about the growth. He was like all positive and he said we are already reached the bottom and from here it's all positive growth. And look at this five second clip on how he's beaming with confidence and saying these things. We are bottoming out. I don't want to call it like uh, next quarter it'd be a blowout cross the quarter or anything but uh, we should start seeing growth soon because with a healthy pipeline for the last few quarters we should start seeing growth now one is extremely pessimistic the other is extremely optimistic similar space Indian IT services company number one number two now who do you believe what's happening behind these results in this video we'll talk about neither the optimistic perspective nor the pessimistic perspective but let's look at what's realistic and what's exactly the difference between both these companies so let's get started with the first point which is the similarity between all the three results in fact, even Wipro came up with their results. The headcount numbers. TCS headcounts have dropped down by roughly 2,000 from 6,3,000 employee base to 6,1,000 employee base in the last one year. Their headcount marginally fell down. And for Infosys though, the headcount fell down by a significant number, close to 26,000 reduction in their headcount. Now, this employee base has never declined for Infosys in the last 23 years since the turn of the century or 2001. And even for Wipro, their overall employee headcount has gone down by close to 25,000 once again. Now, why is this happening? If you just look at the Infosys results, the revenues are flattish which means they neither increased nor declined now if you can get to the same revenues as the previous year with 25000 less employee base the management would love it of course who cares about the employees and the chief financial officer of Infosys has highlighted specifically what are the four or five ways in which they are reducing this headcount when pricing uh, the efficient pyramid, nearshoring, utilization is still a, there's a headroom as we discussed earlier in terms of utilization. So we bake in all of those factors and come to a guidance. For TCS, the employee utilization is around 87% and for Infosys, it was 79% and it is increasing to 83%. And Wipro, again, all these companies are trying to improve their utilization numbers. On the other hand, he also used a small word. Guys, this is very interesting because you get to hear the business strategies as a business student, as somebody who is interested in learning about management and how these companies operate. These small words offer a lot of insights. He talked something called as pyramid. Uh, the efficient pyramid. And this pyramid means that previously, if one manager was managing 10 people, now they are saying we'll increase the responsibilities of the manager and now the manager will manage 20 people. So what happens? You will reduce the total number of managers in the organization. Of course, it is good for the company because they can cut down managers, but for employees, again, it is a tricky thing. Now with all the uncertainty around the IT services industry and the headcounts which are declining for the very first time in the last five to eight years, there is some positivity as well which is not related to the IT services industry but around the global capability centers. We have seen 10 plus global capability centers being opened in India in the last one year and out of them three are in Hyderabad, four are in Bangalore. I got an opportunity to speak with one of the senior managers in these global capability centers which are recruiting for software and technology roles. He was pretty straightforward and said that Pavan typically the GCCs which are just getting set up in the country are recruiting close to 5000 plus employees each one of them so you can see the massive opportunity but at the same time the interviewing processes are very very similar to how an interview at amazon would happen mostly the questions are around system design cloud and full stack development this is where the comprehensive fellowship program of cryo.2 comes into the picture over a course of nine months you'll be starting with the fundamentals of programming 
data structures and algorithms. Then you move into tech stack specialization with both front end and back end as separate learning paths that you can pick and choose from and following which you have an extensive deep dive into system design. So this course covers all the elements that are being asked from software developer in the interviews within these GCCs, small product companies, big product companies as well. All the sessions conducted at Creo are well-structured live and you will be learning through their unique work experience based projects. Also, Cryo comes with a guaranteed placement support program where 95% of the users are placed within nine months in organizations like Flipkart, Bharat Pay, Salesforce, and many more. Each user also has access to Cryo's exclusive career services that will help you create a personalized career plan. You get one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, live mock interviews, and expert guidance. You can book a free trial session using the link in the description box and do that right away. Now coming back into the video, the most interesting aspect is what is the difference? Why is both TCS and Infosys on such different paths with respect to their growth projections? Here comes the catch though. What TCS has done in the last one year is it had some fantastic deals within the Indian market. The North American market, which is the bread and butter for all the IT services companies in India, that did not grow much. It rather in fact stayed flat or it has gone down by 0.2 to 0.5 percent. But TCS had that advantage of BSNL deal in India, which boosted their overall revenues. But Infosys did not have that kind of advantage from Indian market or any other market. And that is the reason why the forecast also did not seem too exciting. But Infosys guys are also pretty experienced. They also know what they want to do and they make sure that their revenues are also climbing up. Hence, they made an acquisition in Germany with an engineering services company in the R&D space. Now, Europe is one of the growing markets for all the IT services companies and Infosys, this is a strategic acquisition for them so that their overall reliance on the North American markets will also go down. And they did not include the revenue growth projections from this acquisition in the growth forecast that they came up with. But in the next few months, if that is factored in again, I believe Infosys growth would not be too different from TCS growth. So at a very high level, both the growth numbers, the projections might be different right now, but in three to six months time, they might be sailing in the exact same boat. And that's the reason why they are not putting all their eggs in the same basket that is North America, and they are all trying to diversify. Even Wipro for that matter, they are saying that their IT services revenues have went down, but their overall consulting revenues are increasing through one of their latest acquisitions. Hope you understand that the commentary might be different. You might be thinking that, hey, last week this guy made a video where TCS is growing and now Infosys is not growing. But if you dig two levels deeper, they all are the same. The third issue, which is actually similar across the board is with respect to attrition. The attrition numbers are going down across the spectrum. For TCS, Infosys, Wipro, it is less than 15%. But just an year back, that number was close to 20%, which means a lot of people are not leaving the jobs. Please do check out the opportunities at different global capability centers of these product-based companies from the US or UK, because they are having a good work experience and also you get to work in a different environment. Don't miss out on those opportunities. The second point is not just about the attrition, but the way these guys are recruiting recruiting as well. Infosys CFO was extremely clear. He said, we are not going to prioritize. Let me repeat it. We are not going to prioritize campus recruitments a lot going forward. We will reduce our campus hiring numbers and we will double down on off-campus hiring for freshers as well. And we want to be more agile with respect to experienced hiring. This gives them a lot of flexibility, right? that they don't need to go to the campus and give them offers and there are huge social media cries if they don't honor these offers, if they don't onboard these guys. Whenever they need these people, they can just go conduct an off-campus drive. And top of that, the guys who are looking for off-campus jobs are also trying to push themselves and pick up a few skills in the market. So you have that agility. At the same time, you have folks who are little more skilled 
compared to just somebody who is coming from an undergrad institute. So the hiring patterns are changing not just for one company, but across the board. This is the similar feedback that we are listening. Now coming into the reading material, I want to share with you three things from this video. Number one is the investor relations docs. I'll share you the exact links where you can get all the numbers that I've been speaking about from Infosys, from Wipro and also from TCS. I'll also give you the conference call link for Infosys because it is the shortest. It's done in almost 30 minutes and you will see what kind of questions are these reporters asking and what kind of responses you are getting for these very interesting conversation and that tells a lot about the state of the organization and on top of that i'll also give you the link to the tcs quarterly result that came out last quarter and i'll also give you the link to the quarterly results video that i have made three months back across all the it services company and you can compare how my commentary about these companies itself is changing within three months that gives you a good comparison about how industry is also slowly changing. I hope this video is helpful and you picked up a lot of interesting nuanced takeaways and do let me know if there are any other points for me to cover in the next video. See you again. Bye bye.